Hello everyone, in the previous video we sent 32 bots mining for 24 hours. At the end of the video we got this massive pile of ores and fancy graph about the ore distribution in the overworld. Today we are doing pretty much the same thing but this time in the nether. I didn't plan to do this video at first but some people in the comments and on reddit asked for the nether version so here it is. It will be very similar to the previous one so feel free to use the chapters in the description if you just want to see the final result. Without further ado, let's start with the return station. The return station is basically the same as in the previous video. It's still located in the overworld, even if the bots are mining in the nether, as it's easier to use the water for the pearl stasis chamber. When returning, the bots drop all the collected ore in the storage below, and they collect new tools before going back to the mine. The key difference here is the content of the toolbox the bots get. There is an additional glowstone here that they use to charge the respawn anchor on the nether side. Once in the nether, the mining part is very similar to the overworld version. They kept the same constraints of mining only the visible ores and the distance limitations so the bot can only mine blocks within a 4.5 blocks radius of the tunnel. Some people express concerns about the bots because of the lava in the nether. But as long as you have some dirt and some superhuman reflexes, lava is not really an issue. When they are out of dirt, or when the inventory is full, the bots can place an under chest and a respawn anchor and use the glowstone to charge it. Then, they ask the manager bot at the return station to get back, and when they die, they respawn next to the respawn anchor before continuing the mining. There are way less different ores in the nether, only quartz, gold and ancient debris. Quartz and gold have almost the same distribution, with one big spike around 115 and a smaller one around 15. There is a huge drop around 30, but not necessary because there is less ore, but because there is a lot more lava at this height, so the bot mined well less blocks in total in these layers. The bot that mined the most ancient debris had its head at y equals 16, and even if you could technically find debris at any y level, this is definitely the level to go if you are hunting for netherite, as you'll get the most ancient debris while also getting a lot of gold and quartz if you want. If we look at the distance traveled by the bots, we can see that the higher you go until y equals 30, the slower they get. This is because of the big lava lakes that are more and more common as you go up. Once you get past 30, you are above the lava lakes and thus you just have to deal with smaller lava pockets. After the 24 hours of mining, the total number of collected ore is more than 600,000 for the quartz, 178,000 gold and almost 4,000 ancient debris. But this is just by spreading the bots all over the Y levels. If instead we send them all at the optimal layer 16, we get instead almost 800,000 quartz, more than 200,000 gold and over 22,000 ancient debris. After smelting them, this is enough to build two of these full netherite beacons plus almost three full chests of extra. Obviously, anyone sane would probably go for an iron beacon instead of mining in a straight line for 24 hours, but I guess it's still a nice fact to know what it would take to do that. And that's it. That's what 32 bots collected by mining in the nether for 24 hours. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe if you don't want to miss the next one. I've already started working on it and it will be pretty amazing. Goodbye.